Begging. Sexual Practice. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Pegging is a sexual practice in which a woman penetrates a man's anus with a strap-on dildo. The neologism pegging was popularised when it became the winning entry in a contest in Dan Savage's Savage Love Sex Advice column, held after an observation was made that there was no common name for the act. Image a woman pegging a man doggy style with a four strap harness and a dildo. Contents 1. Pleasurable aspects 1.1. 1. 1. Physical pleasure 1.2. 1. Psychological pleasure 2. Instructional materials 3. Pegging in pornography 4. Examples from popular culture and the arts. 5. See also. 6. References. 7. Further reading. Section 1. Pleasurable aspects. Section 1.1. Physical pleasure. In terms of physical pleasure, women may get direct stimulation from the base of the dildo or, in the case of a double-ended dildo, from vaginal penetration. A woman can use a secondary vibrator between the dildo and her clitoris to get pleasure from pegging. Men may find stimulation of the anus, rectum and adjacent organs, and particularly the prostate, enjoyable, which can lead to an anal orgasm. Some men enjoy masturbating, or being manually stimulated during pegging. Section 1.2 Psychological Pleasure Some people who engage in pegging may find pleasure in the psychological aspects of domination and submission, which can be evoked through the practice. In particular, it is quite common for a femdom role play to culminate in a pegging. Given the stigma associated with anal sex and its association with male homosexuality, some people, many of them heterosexual, derive enjoyment from the associated taboo. Advice columnist Dan Savage wrote that he believes all men should try pegging at least once, as it may introduce them to a new enjoyable sexual activity and illuminate them to the receiver's perspective in sex. A man may cross-dress in feminine lingerie, such as stockings, garters and high-heeled shoes. This completion of the role reversal can be deeply erotic for some. Some people, particularly genderqueer people, or those who engage in gender fuck, may enjoy the gender transgressive aspects of pegging. Some females may enjoy the feeling of having a simulated penis. Section 2. Instructional Materials A few instructional movies and books have emerged in recent years, including Bend Over Boyfriend, produced by Fatal Media Inc., and directed by Shah Rednor, SIR Video co-founder. The American pornographic film director and sex educator Tristan Termino released an instructional pegging movie in 2009 by Vivid Entertainment Studio, Tristan Termino's Expert Guide to Anal Pleasure for Men, featuring a detailed explanation about male anal pleasure and strap-on dildo sex. In it, she teaches a workshop with instructions and skills for safe and pleasurable female on male anal sex. There are three scenes in which pairs of pornographic actors explore different sexual devices and positions for pegging. As an accomplished author of numerous sex guides and informational books on various sexual taboos, Violet Blue wrote and released The Adventurous Couple's Guide to Strap-on Sex in 2007. Section 3. Pegging in Pornography 
pegging has recently been featured in a number of pornographic movies. The first pegging scene, long before the term was developed, appears to have been in the non-pornographic 1970 film Myra Breckenridge, based on the novel of the same name by Gore Vidal, although it was not explicit. The first explicit such scene is believed to have occurred in the 1975 pornographic film The Opening of Misty Beethoven. In the 21st century, female-to-male strap-on pornography has suddenly become a flourishing industry in the US, with such a high market value that a number of studios have started producing dedicated series about it. The most notable titles are Strap It On, Black Women on White Men, Babe Spoiling Boys, which currently has 16 editions, Strap Attack, Strap On Sirens, Strap On Chicks, Boss Bitches, which currently has over two dozen editions, various movies produced by Leader Studios, and San Francisco-based Men in Pain. It is unclear what triggered the increasing popularity of this genre, but there are now several hundred exclusively pegging titles, as well as twice as many bisexual and straight films with strap-on scenes. Well-known female porn stars who have professed an enjoyment of pegging their male partners include Taylor Wayne, Brittany Andrews, and Monique Couvet. When questioned about her particular kink, Couvet replied, If we women have to take it from behind, then why not a man? Section 4. Examples from Popular Culture and the Arts Dan Savage was a guest on The Colbert Report on November the 29th, 2010. During the interview, Savage educated host Stephen Colbert on the practice of pegging. There is a depiction of pegging in the William S. Burroughs novel Naked Lunch. The dildo used in the scene is called Steely Dan 3 and is the source from which the musical group Steely Dan takes its name. Pegging was featured in the television show Weeds during the episode Crush Girl Love Panic in a scene where Andy Botwin, expecting to have sex with Yale Hoffman in her apartment, is surprised when she refuses to have vaginal sex with him and dons a large strap-on. A similar scene was featured in the UK comedy Peep Show 2005. Jeremy and his girlfriend decide to act out each other's biggest fantasy. After having Jeremy's threesome, his girlfriend takes him to a bedroom. He does not know what she intends. She turns around and is wearing a large strap-on. In the pilot episode of Dirt 2007, Lucy Spiller, Courtney Cox, blackmails Prince Tyrese, Rick Fox, with photographs of him being pegged by a prostitute. In the film Zack and Mary Make a Porno 2008, Bubbles, Tracy Lords, pegs Barry, Ricky Mabe. The theatre company Pack of Others have an entire theatrical performance devoted to spreading the word about the pleasures of prostate stimulation and strap-on sex. The show has toured nationally and won Best Comedy at the 2008 San Francisco Fringe Festival. Section 5. See also. This article recommends two other Wikipedia articles for further reading. They are Anal Sex and Strap-on Dildo. Section 6. References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided, or check the information yourself. Section 7. Further reading. This article recommends two books for further information. They are Violet Blue's The Adventurous Couple's Guide to Strap-on Sex and Tristan Teomino's The Ultimate Guide to Anal Sex for Women, both published by Kleist Press. We now come to the end of the spoken article, Pegging Sexual Practice. It was read by myself, Simon Speed, on the 23rd of March, 2011. The reading reflects the article as of that date. 
This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License. Available at creativecommons.org.